Volt, .new, Lovable, and Replit AI all promise to help you build faster using AI. But they're built for very different kinds of users. Here's how they stack up. Now let's start with Bolt.new. It's positioned as a no-code tool that turns natural language prompts into deployable web apps. The strength here is speed. You describe what you want right here in the speech bubble right there like you're talking to ChatGPT, and Bolt handles everything from front-end to back-end using AI. For solo founders or non-technical users, it's a quick way to test and launch an MVP without touching a code. But while Bolt is great for prototypes, it falls short in flexibility. Once you want to go beyond what the AI offers or deeply customize behavior, things get tricky. Power users often find themselves needing to export the code and finish elsewhere. As a one-click idea to app tool, Bolt is fast, clean, and super intuitive. Now to contrast that with Lovable, which leans harder into collaboration and design thinking, Lovable is more of a product core creator. It doesn't just generate UI, it helps shape ideas into real facing experiences. It focuses on UX flow, copy, and logic with more nuance. Think of it as a Figma meets ChatGPT hybrid, made for founders who care about both design and functionality. Lovable isn't as code-focused as Bolt or Replit, though. It's more of a creative assistant for building polished, thoughtful products. If your priority is launching something lovable, not just functional, then this is where Lovable really shines. But if you're a developer or someone looking for real engineering output, it might feel a little bit too abstract, so to speak. And then there's Replit AI, which is built right into the Replit IDE. Unlike Bolt or Lovable, it assumes you're coding or learning to code. It's less about generating entire apps and more about accelerating what you're already writing. Replit AI suggests code completions, explains bugs, and helps with syntax across multiple languages. It's especially helpful for beginners and students trying to level up their skills. Now, compared to Bolt and Lovable, Replit gives you the most direct control, but also asks the most of you in terms of coding knowledge. It's not trying to replace you. It's trying to support you as you build from scratch. So which one should you uh, choose? I'd say choose Bolt if you want speed and simplicity. You need to launch a working MVP without coding. Uh, go with Lovable if you care deeply about design, UX, and want a co-creator to shape early-stage product ideas. And definitely go with Replit if you're a developer or aspiring who wants AI support while staying hands-on with the code. Each tool solves a different problem. The best one for you depends on whether you want code, clarity, or creativity. Thanks for watching.